Here at home, things are changing. Rain could be moving our way. Yeah, beneficial rainfall for us. Yeah. You know, we saw so much rain last week, but that still wasn't enough to eliminate the drought. So right. we continue to need that rain, and we will get some rain. Well, let's we go. Can. Yeah, <laughs> we'll get we'll get some. In fact, set rain chances for the next seven days. But let's take a look at Longview with our sky view camera to start off. We are going to see those partly cloudy skies right now in Longview with. Uh, temperatures right now sitting at 77 in Longview with winds out of the east northeast at five miles per hour and the dew point sitting at around 75. So it is mild and it is muggy out there. And as we take a tour of East Texas, we'll take a look at temperatures as you head out the door this evening. 76 right now in Jefferson and Atlanta, 79 in Mount Pleasant, 80 degrees over into Mount Vernon, 81 in Sulphur Springs. It is also 81 degrees in Canton and Grand Saline and in Lindale as well. 79 the temperature in Southeast Tyler, Noonday and Troop 81 degrees in Henderson, 78 in Appleby, 77 at the Cherokee County Airport, 78 in Rusk, 81 degrees in just south and east of Palestine, 78 in Kennard and in Lufkin, 79 in Zavala, 77 in San Augustine and in Hemphill. It is 78 degrees in the two Trinity, Groveton and Kennard. So it is a mild uh, start out there for our evening hours. And as we head into your day on Tuesday by 7 o'clock, you could see some showers and thunderstorms will start firing up out there. Uh, so your morning commute on your Tuesday. You may have to dodge a few showers and storms out there, but heading into your Tuesday afternoon by noon, we're seeing some scattered showers and a thunderstorms. That will be the case through six o'clock in the evening on our Tuesday. So just keep that eye to the sky as you head throughout the day to, uh, tomorrow and then on Wednesday as well. We will see an additional chance of rain showers and thunderstorms developing primarily into the afternoon and into the early evening before we dry out again heading into two Wednesday night. Like I mentioned, we still have the drought out there. In fact, it's still an extreme drought for southwest uh, Henderson County and northwest Anderson County. And then we have a severe drought from Athens towards Sulphur Springs, that uh, moderate drought from Mount Pleasant down to Gilmer, Tyler, Jacksonville, and then into the western edge of Angelina County as well. Now, the drought has been eliminated uh, in places like Henderson down towards center and even into San Augustine and northern Sabine County as well. So uh, we continue to need the rain, especially in our westernmost counties. As we take a look at your temperatures over the next seven days, the normal high is 93 degrees. We're actually going to be mainly below that for the next seven days. In fact, mainly below 90 starting for our day on a Thursday. So overall, temperature wise, it's not looking too bad. But when you factor in the humidity each afternoon, it will still feel like it's in the 90s to the tropics. Now we are down to two tropical waves that we are watching. Uh, one in this red shaded area has an 80% chance of developing into at least a tropical depression over these next two to five days here. Uh, this is likely to be our next named storm. Uh, it's still it's too early to tell this will impact uh, the east coast of the U.S. or not. So just make sure to keep up to date with the latest forecast on that. As we head into tonight, we will drop down to the low and middle 70s. So expect a mild and muggy night ahead, but nothing really too unusual for this time of year. And as we take a look at your day planner for Tuesday, we'll see scattered showers and thunderstorms out there with high temperatures climbing into the upper 80s. So it will be cooler than average when you look at the air temperature. But again, factoring in the humidity, it will feel like it's up to the mid 90s. For your seven day forecast, we will see storm chances continuing into the weekend with high temperatures generally below the 90 degree mark. For DP Texas, it is more of the same. So keep that eye to the sky for your next seven days as we will continue uh, to see the chance of some thunderstorms out there.